I'm Julian Olani, your host today on this NFL show. Today I'm here with Roman Bostic and Zach Kaplan, and today we're going to be discussing rookie quarterbacks. So we are going to start off here with Justin Fields. Roman? Yeah, well, Justin Fields, obviously, he was the fifth, the Bears traded up to get him with the Giants. Great move by them. They were able to get themselves a franchise quarterback. What I don't think anyone expected, though, was that Andy Dalton injury in Week 7. That was really big, forcing Fields under the spotlight. And then from there on, Fields balled out. He combined for a total of 4,000 passing yards. He had 28 touchdowns, and he only threw for six interceptions, despite not having a full season. Fields, obviously, one of the top contenders, but I don't think he's probably going to get Offensive Rookie of the Year due to not playing those seven games. But Fields, looking very promising here, as long as he doesn't get any injuries, he could be a very, very good quarterback in the future. What about yeah, you, Yeah, well, Fields was insane this year. It was a big mistake by the Bears for not playing him the full season. I think that they could have made the playoffs playing him the full season, but with a rough start with Andy Dalton playing, they didn't make the playoffs one game short as they went 9-8. and eight. Uh, another rookie, though, Trevor Lawrence, who's my favorite for Rookie of the Year. He played all 17 games, and he had a pretty good season. I think, though, if Justin Fields played all 17 games, too, he would have taken it. But Lawrence did play the 17 games. He had uh, just above 4,000 yards, 25 touchdowns, but the interceptions were a little shaky with 20 interceptions. What do you think about that, Ron? I mean, Lawrence, obviously, I think I'm still going to have to give it to him. But the one thing I am looking at here, uh, and no one's really talking about him, is Trey Lance. I mean, Lance this year, he came in a lot later than everyone else. Came in at week 12. He didn't have that many yards, only 2,000 passing yards, only 10 touchdowns. Only the one pick, though, in that time, which I think was really impressive. However, I think that what we're not looking about at Lance is his rushing yard. Lance rushed for about 200 yards in that span, which, yeah, doesn't seem like a lot, but Lance is not a running quarterback. They weren't running options. They're running scrambles. He was able to scramble for about 200 yards in the span of five games, which is pretty good numbers for a quarterback. I think Lance could maybe get rookie of the year, but one thing I was a little disappointed on was Zach Wilson. Zach, what do you think about him? Yeah, well, he was just disappointing for the Jets. So they had another rough season, and they're going to get another top five pick. It's just horrible to see a, uh, a second overall pick do so poorly in his rookie season. Hopefully, though, he can bounce back next season as the Jets may improve this offseason. All right, and now we have breaking news. Andy Dalton has announced that he will start at every position for Chicago, saying, it's my time. The Bears the Bears, automatically they, the Bears, um, promptly release the injured QB, Luke McCown, signed as Fields' backup QB. So Luke McCown is signed as the Bears' backup quarterback, and Andy Dalton will now play every position for the Bears. That is in- on that. interesting, to say the least. Uh, if I'm being honest, I think this is one of the worst decisions in football history. You're putting a quarterback with no offensive line experience, no tight end experience, no wide receiver experience, no running back experience at all your positions. You're putting him at your skill positions and trusting yourself to have a good season. My time, yeah, it might be Andy Dalton's time to retire, but that's really it. That's the only thing he's got here. He's There's not 10 Andy Daltons. He can't play everyone and then field. There's not 11 Andy Daltons. And even if, by some miracle, there were enough Andy Daltons to fill a football field, they would still be worse than the 0-16 Lions, the 0-16 Browns, all of those teams. Zach? Yeah, well, Andy Dalton wasn't good as a quarterback, which is his position. So now he thinks he'll be good at positions that he's never played before. It's insane how he thinks this. Even as his old self, he could barely move. No way he's going to be playing wide receiver or running back or even offensive line. He'll get eat up. And there's no way that this will work out any well for the Chicago Bears. Now let's discuss the backup QB now for the for the Bears. Luke McCown, is he going to be a good backup for this team? I don't think there's really any need to start him at a backup because I guess if Andy Dalton's going to play any position, you have Andy Dalton that you can put as your backup. Luke McCown, he'll be all right. I'm not worried about Fields' injury concerns. Uh, but one thing I do want to quickly bring up is all the other players on this Bears team. If Andy Dalton is going to be the starter, then that means he'd start at every position, right? Well, will he start at every, like, will he play each position in the game, or will he play them all at the same time? That's what we're wondering here. We don't really know much from the official statement, but my hypothetical situation here is, what are we going to do with players like Allen Robinson, David Montgomery, Tariq Cohen? Are these players going to be traded? Because if so, then the Bears might have a slightly good outlook on the future because Dalton will most likely retire in a few years. 
because one, he's going to be playing 11 copies of himself or playing every at the same time. Most likely he's going to get hurt. And two, these players will still fetch a high price. It's still players like Allen Robinson. I'm sure the Raiders would love to have him. Tariq Cohen and David Montgomery are obviously some of the two better running backs. And defensive. Yeah, and on the Khalil defense, Mack. you have Khalil Mack. Bring him back to Vegas. Send him anywhere. He'll fetch at least two first-round picks despite mm-hmm. getting a little bit older than usual. He'll still be great. I really think that this Bears team, I mean, the only thing I can see upside from is maybe trying to get draft capital, but that's it. But what about you, Zach? Well, another question that I have is how or will – the Chicago Bears head coach let this happen. If he does, I think that something fishy is up. Andy Dalton must be up to something. Maybe he'll become the head coach too, the GM, the owner, everything. Maybe he'll become all the fans too. You know, I, I honestly think here, I totally agree with you. If I'm the Bears here, I cut Dalton. I do not deal with this amount of just you Confidence, can't go into yeah. Hockiness. You can't go into my organization and tell me, hey, you let me cut all of your starting caliber players, your Khalil Mack, your Allen Robinson, your Tariq Cohen, your David Montgomery, and replace them with me, a backup quarterback who has as much of a shot to be successful as Tim Tebow did to make the Jaguars roster. This man should not be in the NFL. If I'm the Bears, by the next. 30 minutes. I want to see an announcement saying the Bears have cut Andy Dalton, released him, or that the NFL has done something about this because this is not the professionalism we're supposed to see in the NFL. This is something out of backyard football, and I don't think the NFL or Roger Goodell should even stand for this. I mean, these are some good points here, and I think this is insane what is happening right now. But I think you're right here, Roman. I think we're going to see Andy Dalton get cut. I don't think we're going to see any trades. Let's continue talking about this topic after we go to commercial break. We will be right back. 